In this video, I'm showing you guys my sunglass collection. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley Park, this is Park Avenue and I have tons of fashion content. So if you love outfit ideas, unboxings, hauls, lifestyle content, I've got something for you. Check out some of my other videos and when you find something you like, make sure to subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bells so that way you don't miss any of my uploads. In today's video, I am showing you guys my sunglasses collection. I got a lot of requests about this. You guys have been very curious to see my entire collection. If you watch my styling videos, then you see how often I do include sunglasses in my outfits. I love sunglasses. They are probably one of my most favorite accessories, if not my most favorite. <laughs> I just love the way they add something to any outfit, no matter how casually dressed you are, no matter how you feel, like like literally sometimes I will roll out of the bed and like if I have to walk gizmo or if I have to like just run out somewhere and I literally have rolled out of the bed and just got in the car, like pajamas, I'll put on a pair of shades and I will feel so cool. Like my outfit will be taken up 10 times. Sunglasses are like the accessory. You know what I'm saying? Like they are the accessory. And I do love to wear my sunglasses indoors. So I sometimes go for a pair that I can like see through easily when I'm inside. And when I'm driving, like if you're driving into a parking garage, I don't like to have to constantly take off my sunglasses. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my most worn sunglasses, the pair of shades that I reach for over and over again. I have a couple of newer pair that I've added to my collection and we'll talk about those, but if you watch my videos, you have seen them. But I'm just excited to show you guys this because I know you have been wanting to see my sunglasses collection. But before we get into the sunglasses, I also picked up some things from Sephora. Are you guys shopping the Sephora? beauty sale, like the beauty event. This is like one of their biggest sales of the year. And I'm really excited about makeup these days. So I, you know, picked up some things and I wanna share them with you guys. So let's just get right into it. So I got a pretty good size bag of goodies. And then I also have an order coming to me in the mail because my local Sephora didn't have everything that I wanted. And some things were out of stock and they restocked them. So if you guys are shopping the sale and you found that things are out of stock, just keep checking back because they do restock things throughout the sale. The sale is already in progress. It started November 5th and then it goes all the way until November 15th. So you got time to make some trips back and forth. I constantly am like adding things to my cart. So I might do an, uh, like another order besides the one that I already have going. So we'll see, but let's just get into it. So the first thing I wanna show you guys are the Shiseido Facial Cotton. I really like these. I had been wanting to try these for a really long time, but for some reason, they just didn't have them at my local Sephora. I you know, didn't think about it when I went to go make orders. Whatever happened, I don't even know. But I finally got a chance to try these out and I really, really love them. Now, they are 12 bucks, which sounds like a lot for face uh, cotton, but as far as good quality face co facial cotton goes, these are actually a really good price. 12 bucks, I think these are really great and they just feel so soft. They almost feel like they already have moisture in them which is interesting you know i add like my toner to them or i'll do like makeup remover and i'll like gently wipe my face if i need to i just really like these i love the packaging it feels like a pillow it, it just looks really good even though i am going to take them out of this plastic and then put them in like an acrylic container or something like that i have to place the order online but i'll find something to store them so i can just like easily get to them that also looks really cute but i really like these i actually already dipped into them there's like a hole here because i've already been using them Next up, I got the Fenty Skin Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. I think I'm probably like the last person to jump on this train, but I really love this. If you haven't tried it, I would definitely say try it because I was kind of skeptical. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of skeptical about it. Everyone said they loved it, but I have really sensitive skin and I'm just really looking for maximum hydration and I don't have time to play around. So that's why I was hesitant, but my mother had picked some up and she was like, check it out, you might like it. And I actually really did. I really liked it. So I got the regular size tub, um, which is like the full packaging, but they also sell these refills. So all you do is pop out the insert inside the container and then you could just buy the refills. The refills are a couple of dollars cheaper than the full product. I mean, it's the same full size, but the refill is a little bit cheaper because it's just the insert. You just put it back inside of here. And so you don't have to keep buying the container over and over. Um, I think it's so it could cut down on waste and plastics and things like that. So that's really nice. So, you know, you can get a couple of dollars cheaper once you make the initial investment. I like these. I think they make great gifts. So if you buy one now, you can also buy a couple of the refills and then you're good to go for a while. When these kinds of sales are going on, I like to stock up on the things that I love because then the hope is it'll hold you over to the next sale. But even if you have to, you know, 
top up a little bit and buy, uh, you know, one or two throughout the year, then you don't have to spend as much money as if you, you know, if you were getting it full price. So I recommend these. I think they're really great. They're very nourishing. I find that my skin feels really hydrated. So, uh, you know, I recommend it and I have really sensitive skin. So if they work for me, then I encourage you guys to try it too. And this time around, I got some really good like body and skincare products. And then I also have some makeup that I'm going to show you guys. But Next up for another skincare is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, and this is really nice. It's not too thick, it's not too heavy, it's kind of on the lighter side, but it's very nourishing and moisturizing. This is a really great uh, cream. I wish I could also get this in like a giant just like tub to put on my body because I just love the way it feels. And I actually like this more than I like the Kiehl's Body Lotion. This feels really nice on the skin, and I would say check this one out too if you guys are looking for something like lightweight. It says 24-hour daily lightweight hydrating formula, which is really true. This is lightweight, but it, you can feel that your skin feels hydrated with this. And next up, I picked up this Polish Choice Niacinamide Treatment. Now, I have been watching a lot of dermatologists' YouTube channels, like skincare chemists, and dermatologist YouTube channel. So they're actually like real dermatologists and they have YouTube channels and I've been watching, um, you know, for their advice and the things that they recommend because I have been pretty serious about my skincare, but lately I kind of fell off and I haven't been keeping up with my routine. And now that the weather has switched up on me and it's gotten a lot colder, my skin is like freaking out. So I want to like really increase my hydration with all the products that I use and I'm just wanting to be really gentle with my skin because it will react to a lot of things. So I wanted to try this and this is good to add some moisture back into the skin. And I had never heard of this brand Polish Choice, but the dermatologists that I have been watching, they were using it and recommending it. So I'm like, let me check it out. And it seems really gentle. So this is a serum that I'm gonna add to my nighttime routine and probably in the daytime as well. But I'm gonna try it for my nighttime routine and see how it works and if I feel any differences with this. But it says it's for all skin types. So let me know in the comments if you guys have tried anything from Polish Choice because there's also, um, it's like a BHA treatment. It's like an exfoliating treatment that is also at Sephora that I'm thinking about. So I will link it for you guys so you can check it out. But I'm thinking about getting that one as well because I do like to exfoliate, um, you know, a couple times a week. And I, right now I'm using an actual like physical scrub. So I want to try something else. And I also got something I want to show you guys as far as exfoliating goes. But this I'm really excited about. And this treatment says that it dramatically reduces the look of pores and reinforces elasticity. And I'm really not that um, hung up on my pores or like wrinkle preventing type things. I'm really concerned right now with moisture. So if it has any other benefits in, and you know, that's great, but I'm really concerned with moisture. So if it reinforces elasticity, a, that's a good sign because then it, you know, helps you with the moisture in your skin. So I'll report back on this. And then I also got this skincare set from Dermalogica. This, you guys, was such a good value. I was actually originally just gonna get the Daily Microfoliant. I had heard a lot about that, and I heard it was very gentle as far as exfoliators go, so I really wanted to try it. But then I saw that they had this full size in this gift set. So you get all full size products. It's like $143 value, but you get it for 95 bucks. And there were so many good gift sets like available at Sephora, this is the perfect time to pick up some sets for gifts for yourself or for whatever. Honestly, for myself, I like the most because a lot of these products I do like and they're expensive when you get them, you know, one by one. So to get the discount and then on top of that, you're getting like a set. So you're getting a bunch of products discounted. It's so many good gift sets, you guys. I'll link actually to um, a, a bunch of gift sets that I have my eye on. I'll link those in the description box. But I thought this was really great to check out and I'm excited to see how uh, the pre-cleanse and the cleansing gel work as well because I've been looking for a more gentle cleanser. The one that I was using was fine for the summertime, but I find that maybe it might be a little bit too aggressive for the winter when my skin is a little bit drier. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. Next up, I wanna show you guys this Gua Sha. Let me know if you guys have tried this already, but I have been curious to try it out myself. I had played around with them like in stories, like seeing how they are, but I had never actually used it like with my skincare and like tried it out for a good amount of time. But I'm really curious about this. This is good for like sculpting your face. There's supposed to be a lot of like health benefits and it'll like do some draining. Um, you know, as far as like if you get puffy and things like that. So I'm going to check this out and let you guys know, but it says it's a stone and you can refrigerate it for an extra cooling effect. You know, like kind of like those jade rollers. This is something that you can also refrigerate and then, you know, depuff with. So that's really good. So I'm going to check this out. It says facial massaging is believed to support and improve the appearance of skin. 
So we love that. <laughs> and this is something that you use like in addition to really good skincare, in addition to drinking water. This is not something that's gonna like completely like completely give you a whole different look. It's just a nice addition to everything else you're already doing that's good for your skin. All right, now we're gonna talk about a little makeup. So I also picked up this Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. And I had heard so many good things about this setting spray. I really like Charlotte Tilbury's products. The moisturizer for the face is really nice. I had that and I really liked it. Um, what else? I like her lip products. I actually have her, I don't have it with me right now, but I have her lipstick and her lip liner. And they have actually a really good gift set with like the Pillow Talk lipstick, lip liner, and a gloss. Really nice gift set, it looks so good. I actually was thinking about getting it, but I have a full size of all those things already. I really don't need it, but it's really nice and it looks so pretty. So I figured I would check this out because I have my eye on it for a while. And I tried it today and so far so good, I like it. I tried it as a setting mist like after I already done my makeup, but I also wanna try it as a prep because apparently it's also a good primer. So we'll see about that. But I really like it so far. I do wish that the mist was like slightly finer but so far so good either way. And they also have um, a, like a travel set with two of these in smaller travel sizes. So those are really good great gifts as well. You can split those up and you know add it to something else bigger that you're giving someone or just you know split those up and give to people to test it out and try it or get them for yourself and travel with them. So, so far so good, we'll see. Next up, I picked up these Sephora Collection makeup sponges. These were really inexpensive and I was looking for a set of sponges because I don't have any more, which I don't even know what happened to my sponges, but I really needed some. So I'm gonna try these out and Sephora Collection is actually 30% off right now, which is great. And Sephora Collection has some really good stuff. I have a few makeup brushes that I love, like the Pro brushes from Sephora, they're really great. So definitely check that out. But the reason why I picked up these sponges is because I needed some makeup sponges to go along with my makeup forever powder foundation love this you guys i have more in my cart because i want to make sure i stock up while the sale's going on but you guys i love this i showed you guys when i like updated all my makeup and this was something that i was trying out at the time but i am reporting back that i absolutely love it this is my favorite foundation right now definitely recommend it Just check it out for sure now i want to show you guys <laughs> how much i have used I actually have this in two shades and sometimes I mix them and sometimes I don't. But if you can see here, I actually hit pan on this. This little line right here, that's me hitting pan on it. It's pretty um like used. <laughs> So definitely recommend this. And I take it right up until under my eye. I layer my concealer under it and then I put this on over top. But I've also used cream products on top of this. So if you're looking for a really good foundation, this is really good coverage. And you can also use it with your liquid foundations. Like say you had your favorite liquid foundation. You can use this as a setting powder or you can use it to set your under eyes to add a little bit of a brightening effect. Obviously you would go with a lighter color, but I, this is my favorite foundation. And even in the winter months, like right now, I was just telling you guys how my skin is freaking out and it's kind of dry. I love this still. And speaking of concealer, this is my favorite. This Fenty Beauty Concealer is doing such an awesome job of keeping my under eyes nice and bright. It does a good job of canceling out my darkness, which is something that I really struggle with from makeup products, trying to do like both. I didn't find, one that brightened up, I didn't find that it canceled out my darkness. And one that canceled out my darkness, I didn't feel that it brightened up underneath my eye enough. So this one I really love. And once it goes on, it's, it's a, it does a really good job of staying put. So I have to go in when I remove my makeup with um, like an oily like makeup cleansing balm or a makeup cleansing oil, something like that to get it off, but gently remove it. I really like this and I'll have it linked for you guys in the description box because if you haven't tried it out already, you need to. And it was a little confusing when I first got it, but I, I feel like I figured it out, but this is a good shade for me. So if you're around my shade, check it out. If not, then you can get help from the Sephora um, you know, associates. Obviously they can help you out pick your shade. This next product is by IGK. It's called Good Behavior. It's a four-in-one prep spray. I wanted to try this out because it's something good to use right before you apply any heat to your hair. And since I am flat ironing my hair, getting it pressed out every couple weeks, I just wanted to make sure I was like keeping it nourished. So I'll let you guys know how this one works out, but I really like this one a lot in terms of what it says it does. And the last Sephora product I wanna show you guys is this Bobbi Brown Oil Infused Lip Gloss. Now I have the sample size right here, but I have the full size in my cart in two colors. They are gorgeous, they feel so good. And 
they're very hydrating. I like lip gloss and I like the look of lip gloss, but sometimes it can be goopy and thick. And I was using a lip gloss before this that I really liked that I thought was, wasn't was goopy and thick and it wasn't sticky, but the bottle always leaked. So I was like, forget about that one. I got to figure something else out. And so I got a sample of this Bobbi Brown gloss and I really like it. I love the color. It's nice and nude, but I can layer it over um, lipsticks or lip liners if I want a different look. But I like that it's like my lips, but a, but better kind of a color. It's a really like no makeup makeup kind of gloss. Easy, you don't have to really think about it. So definitely check this one out. And I have a couple of colors that are coming my way. I really love this. And I think you guys will like it as well, especially if you're looking for something a little bit more nourishing. My lips tend to be really like dry. And I just find that this hydrates it really well, but I but it's still a lip gloss. So I can reapply this and not have to worry about a lip balm, which a lot of times with gloss, even when I put them on, I still have to worry about like, making sure throughout the day I put on a lip balm and then layering the gloss over it. So I don't have to do that with this one. Now, enough about skincare and makeup. I wanna talk to you guys about my sunglasses collection. So like I said, I just picked out the ones that I reach for the most. And you guys have seen all of these because I style them in my weekly styling videos and you see them on the vlog and everything like that. So let's just jump into the first pair. And the first pair I wanna show you guys are these Tom Ford shades. Here's the case. And these are like an aviator style, but they're more like squared off. I picked these up from Nordstrom Rack. And my only regret is that I didn't also get these in brown. They came in a brown. This is more of like a pinky rose colored lens. And I really like these, but I find myself wanting more brown sunglasses because I tend to reach for or gravitate to like colored lenses, things that are a little bit more unusual. And I find that I don't have enough like brown sunglasses. So I wish I also had them in the brown shade, but I really, really like these. And Tom Ford, of course, does amazing sunglasses. I have a few pair. I actually lost a pair. I know they're somewhere in my house. I just cannot find them they're black with a gold lens and they're one of my favorites and I cannot find them anywhere I wanted to show you guys in this video but I don't know where they are <laughs> next up I want to show you guys a pair of shades by Mason Margiela I absolutely love these these are also a, like a rose colored lens they're really nice and light on the face they have like a wire frame that's really really light and they almost feel like I have nothing on when I wear them and I can wear these inside because the lens is pretty translucent these give me like a 70s vibe, and that's something you're gonna see like as a theme with all the glasses that I show you. Any kind of a glasses, like a sunglasses shape that nods to the 70s is right on my alley. You guys know I love a 70s vibe, so that's my has my name written all over it. One of my most favorite pair of shades was a pair of shades by Chloe. If I can find them, I'll link to them for you guys, but I absolutely love them. They were like a brownish kind of gradient, and they almost look suspended on the face. They had a, a, a frame, but it was like half, and the rest of it was like rimless. They were so gorgeous. I was in the fitting room one day, and they fell, and the lens popped out, and it couldn't even be fixed. I was so sad. I loved them so much, and I just wasn't able, able to ever replace them. So I had to stop looking for them for a while, but now that I'm mentioning it, I'm gonna like look for them again, because I wanna link them for you guys if you wanna check them out, and I wanna get myself a pair. <laughs> But on to these Mason Margiela shades. I really like these. I think I got them from Saks or Fifth or maybe regular, like, full Saks. I cannot remember. I've had these for a long time. But I really like them, and I reach for them a lot. Because they're so lightweight, I don't really have to think about them at all. I don't even feel them. And even though these are rose-colored, like the Tom Ford ones I just showed you, the shape is completely different. They sit on my face totally different. So it's a completely different vibe, even though it's a similar color, you know? Next up, I have another pair of shades from Tom Ford, and these are a cat eye. Now, even though they're not like that super oversized shape that's a nod to the 70s, like I'm always looking for, the other style that I really like is a cat eye. I love them. They're like ultra feminine. They look so chic. They really flatter my face, and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. I've had these for a long time. These are actually pretty hefty, like weighty, as far as sunglasses go. They're not like extremely heavy, but I can definitely feel them on my face, and they're a little bit heavier than my other ones. They're very like, these are pretty solid, but I love the color. It's more on the silver side, but it kind of looks like a champagne-y color, so depending on what I'm wearing, it can look a little gold. They have almost like a blue, like, iridescent like ombre gradient kind of thing happening they're really beautiful and then they're like blue tint but you know nothing too dramatic and I can wear these inside as well but they do a good job of giving a little bit of shade I love these 
And I'm showing you these glasses. There's no particular order. Like literally as I reach for them, that's the next pair that I'm showing you. And next up, I have a pair from Jimmy Choo. This is the case. So I really like these. These are very different from any of the other sunglasses that I have. The lens is round. It has a little, like a black kind of definition around there. And then it also has a really cool sparkle detail. It's like a glitter crystal kind of thing happening here on the side. These are really nice sunglasses. And I find that they look most interesting when I wear them with something really dressed down because they're kind of the star of the show. I, it makes a really casual outfit look super elevated. I've had these for a while. The lens is mirrored and they're kind of like a smoky mirrored lens, really cool. The next pair of shades I wanna show you guys are this pair that have no name. I got these from like a vintage kind of consignment type of store and they didn't have any name. They were really cute. They had some like pre-loved jewelry and things like that and I saw these and I was like, oh, let me try them on and I fell in love. They have that 70s vibe that I'm always looking for. They remind me of something Tina Turner would wear, something my grandmother would wear. Like this is such a, like a cool pair of shades and I really like them. I think they look really expensive, but the fact that they were not $600 is really great. I just think that the story behind them is probably something really cool. That's why I love them. So love these a lot. Like I said, there's no name for them, so I can't recommend it. The sunglass case says chunks, but I think this is just a case that they had in the back that they just gave me to go with these glasses. Next up, I have these really cool tortoise oversized shades. I don't have any tortoise like shades in my collection. And when I saw these, I was like, I have to get them. Now these are super affordable. They're from Lulu's and I love the shape. I love the style. They have an expensive look, but they weren't expensive at all. And I had in mind for these something cute to wear during the summer. I can take these like and throw them in my beach bag and not have to really worry about them because they weren't really pricey, but they still give that really high end look. So that's why I gravitated toward these and they are brown, like a brown gradient. And then I love that tortoise because I don't have anything like that. And then on the side here, it kind of has like that amber color going on. And I think this is really cute. Next up, I want to show you a pair of shades from a brand called For Art's Sake. These are so cute. When I first saw them, I thought they were like really unusual. I had not seen anything like that. I didn't have anything like that. And I was like, I got to check these out. So actually these are round, just like the Jimmy Choo ones that I showed you. But what's so cool about these is that they have a pearl detail. And if you ain't know, I love pearls. And I thought this was such a cool detail on the side. It's kind of like a paisley, you know paisley print? It has that like shape that's in paisley print, but it's, out of, it's made out of pearls. They're round, they're brown, and they're really, really nice. They're lightweight as well, so they're not heavy or uncomfortable. And the, ear, the nose tabs are made out of a stone, which is supposed to not leave any indentation or you know wear away your makeup on your nose, which I thought was really thoughtful. It does leave a little, a slight indentation, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I find that they are really comfortable. So I like that. And they have, the arms are like kind of swivelly, kind of like swirly, which adds to like the nice like feminine detail. I really like these a lot. This, actually, this brand actually has a few sunglasses that I think are really cute. So I'll link to them for you guys so you can check them out. And even though these are not like huge and squared off and oversized, like a lot of the 70s kind of style that I like, they're round, but they still give me that 70s kind of vibe. So I love these. Next up, I wanna show you a pair of vintage Gucci shades. And these actually came in the collapsible old Gucci case. I really like these cases. I don't know if they still have them, but every pair that I've gotten now, or most recently, they have the velvet case. So they should bring these back because they're really nice to throw in your bag because after you take the glasses out, you can collapse the case and it gets really, really flat. I think that's nice. I have a couple of these and uh, hopefully they bring them back. But these are the shades. These are a brown kind of a gradient. I got these from my mother and these are not available anymore, but I really like these. This style that they have with the double G's on the side and this kind of a shape they have something similar right now that they seem to always have but these kind of like round off can you guys see that they kind of like round off this way which I don't I haven't seen from them on their website so maybe this is something they'll come back with if you like that kind of like rounded off type vibe but they do have something similar so I'll link to those but I really like these Next up, I wanna show you guys a pair from Ferragamo. And these I love. You guys have asked about these so many times when I like wear them. And I have not been able to find this colorway anywhere. Like at first, when I first got them, I could find them, but now I can't find them anywhere. I think they're completely sold out. 
So hopefully I'll be able to link them for you guys. But I love this shape. I love the gradient, the purple that fades into the orange. It's a really nice pair of sunglasses. And I don't have anything like this either in my collection. This is like the only pair that I have like this. And I don't have any like purples. And I really love purple right now. So I like that I have this one. And this shape is very similar to the shapes that I've shown you guys, but a really great pair. And it has a little bit of tortoise on the arm. So good, I really like these. Can you guys see the fade, like the purple into the orange? Such a good pair of shades. But this shape just in general is really good. So even if you find these in another colorway, you're gonna be good. Like they're like such a showstopper. The next few pair of shades I wanna show you guys are from Gucci. I'm gonna show you guys this black pair that everyone loves. I showed you guys this pair when I first got them and I know a lot of you picked them up, but if you guys didn't and I can find them, be sure to get them because if you're looking for like an easy pair of black sunglasses to wear, something you don't really have to think about, these are really chic and they're just like a really like, they're striking, but in a way that, you know, they're not like doing too much. That's why I like them. So this is the black ones that I have. And I didn't have anything like this in my wardrobe. I really needed to fill a hole. And these just did the trick. Just really simple and elegant. And I'm getting a collection of these velvet cases. I didn't do it intentionally, but now every time I get a new pair, I am excited to get a different color in the velvet case. Now here are the next pair of Gucci shades. And these I just really love because I reach for them so much. I love how oversized they are. They're really nice like brown gradient, but they also have some other colors of these. So I'll be able to link the other colors, but I love these. They have a pearl detail on the arm, which you guys, I'm pearl obsessed, so I'm really excited to have these. But I just love them. The arm is a little, one of the arms I need to get tightened, they're a little loose, you see like it's floppy, and this one is a little bit more stiff. It needs to be like this one. So if your arms are loose, get them tightened. I just love these. I mean, such a good pair of shades. Now here are the last pair of Gucci shades I wanna show you guys today, and I love these. I love how beautiful the case is. It's really huge, too. This is a big case. Um, let me show you guys. In comparison to like, this is another pair of shades, which you guys can see. But I showed you guys these in a luxury haul that I did, so I'll link to that video if you wanna check out some of the other pieces that I got. But I love these glasses so much. And I don't like when I get offered like a smaller case. I'm not gonna say I don't like it. I appreciate it, thank you for thinking about me, but I want the case that my glasses come with. Like I don't care how big the case is, I don't care how funny shape the case is, I want the case that the glasses come with. I have enough cases that I can like switch them out if I want to, but I really like to have the cases that are supposed to go with the glasses. And also when you're buying like, um, you know, luxury glasses and like let's say you wanna resell them, it's good to have like all the a pack, like all the case, the original case that comes with it and all that kind of stuff. But for personal preference, I just like to have the case that it comes with. <laughs> so these are really oversized. I love the shape of these. They have the double G's and then they also have the stars here. I haven't seen any other ones with the stars, but I have seen others with the double G's in the front. So you guys can get these in like another colorway. If you're interested, I haven't found the blue ones. Actually, no, I've recently seen these exact ones. Now I was able to get them on sale. I don't know if they'll be on sale by the time I can link them for you guys because I was linking to these glasses in my Instagram stories. I put them in videos. Like I told you about these, gla these glasses over and over again. So I hope that you guys got them. But if not, if they're still available, I'll link for you um, in the description box. But definitely check these out. I think they're so gorgeous. I got them on sale, but I would have paid full price for them because I was so obsessed with them when I first saw them. And I was like, I gotta have them. I put them in my cart, they sold out and I was so bummed about it, but I kept searching and they came back around. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna miss out again, so let me get them. Now here's the last pair that I wanna show you guys. And these are from the Attico, I love these. The only thing I don't like about these is that they came in a soft pouch. And I do like the pouches when they come in the hard case because sometimes I'll put them in a pouch if I don't wanna carry the whole full case. But these only came in the pouch, so I don't have the option. But either way, I love the sunglasses, so it's fine. And like I said, I got enough cases that I can put them in something else if I need to. But these babies are it. I love them so much. And I know you guys like them because when I first showed them, you guys were like, oh, those are so good. And I wish I also could get them in another color. I like the size of them. I like the aviator shape. And I like that they have, I guess, kind of like a teardrop. This shape is so nice, but I do have to be mindful when I come across glasses that are like a little bit lower like this because my cheeks are big and when I smile, they take over my face. So glasses will bounce like up and I can't stand that. I don't like that and it just, I don't like the way it feels and I don't like the way it looks. So these don't have that problem. They kind of like sit off of my face a little bit. So 
They're just really good. These are the Attico and Linda Farrow collab. I really like these. And if you guys can get your hands on these, definitely pick them up. These are a classic shape. I love the way that they're like gold. Like there's no mistaking the rim is gold. I love that orange lens. They're just a showstopper. Now, when I put these on, everything is orange. It's, if I'm looking at my outfit and I have the glasses on, I gotta take them off so I can see like the true outfit because this, everything is just orange with these on. But besides that, I just really, really love them. So that is it, you guys, for my sunglass collection. These are just the pair of shades that I just reached for and I just love these so much. I have a few other pair, but I didn't show you guys because they just weren't as exciting. But I really, really love these and I think that they all have a really great place. They all like give like different looks and I just, I just love sunglasses, if you couldn't tell already. Now that brings me to today's shout out. And today I am shouting out a YouTube comment and the comment is from Edna. I'm not gonna pronounce your last name because I don't wanna butcher it, but Edna commented on one of my last videos and she wrote, you and Hilo Lux have sold me on sunglasses. The accessories really amplify these looks. I echo everyone's sentiments in these comments. You are really changing minds and lives out here. Thank you for being you. Thank you so much, Edna. I think that is such a tremendous compliment because I just love accessories. <laughs> I love clothes and shoes and bags and all that, but I really do love sunglasses a lot and they really make a huge difference in the outfit. Like, you know, I understand that everyone can't go out and buy, you know, a bunch of different clothes and spend a lot of money on a bunch of different outfits. So if you get a few pair of really good sunglasses, you can definitely change your look. They're a really great accessory to have. They're fun and they can change the entire outfit. So I'll link to all these sunglasses uh, like whatever's still available, I'll have a link for you guys, but whatever's not available, I'll list the information and then I'll also have like a similar pair or like a list of recommendations or sunglasses that are like on my radar right now because I also want a pair from Loewe, but they're sold out so I wouldn't even be able to link them because girl, I would have had them already if I could link them, you know? But that's it, yeah, that's it for my sunglass collection. Let me know which pair was your favorite and I will have links to all the Sephora products that I showed you guys earlier in the video in the description box as well. So be sure to save some money and shop the Sephora sale. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. I'll see you guys in the next video, bye. I get a lot of questions about how to grow a YouTube channel, how to start, equipment recommendations, what do I do? So I wrote a book and I'm sharing it with you guys. It's gonna detail everything that I did to grow my channel, specific information and actionable steps that you can take to grow your YouTube channel. So if you are just wanting to start one but you just have no idea where to start, you get overwhelmed and you just it just seems so far away for you, this book will help you. If you already have a YouTube channel and maybe you've plateaued or you're just not seeing any kind of growth or you're not seeing the kind of growth that you feel like you should be seeing, this book will help you. It's gonna detail everything that I have done and it'll have actionable steps that you guys can take to get you to the next level for your YouTube channel. So click the link in the description box and get started on your channel.